just hit it. Okay. Today we are going after the historic walleye with the rattlesnake worm. See which pole here I've got rigged up for that already. Got my buddy here. He's all dressed up in his finest. And uh, that suit that came with Selenge. And uh, he's after the same things we are. So we're going to see if we can catch these things. Got my rattlesnake worm on. And here we go. First cast. Need five of them. There he is, <laughs> in that pretty blue suit. <laughs> oh, I got something here. Don't you be making fun of my pretty blue suit. <laughs> I got something here. Let's see what I got. Oh, I got the first one right here. Oh, yeah, and it's got a tag on it. Well, I'm just going to fish from the boat dock here since I already caught one. Just throw straight out here. Four more to go. I'm just fishing right out to your left in case you're wondering. I caught, yeah, I went I caught, over to the deep. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm throwing out to the deep, but I'm just standing right here. I missed one right there. I don't know what it was, but I missed something. Oh, just missed something else. All right, let's try it again. Ah, just missed another one. Ain't gonna catch much like that. Ah, just missed again. Just missed again. Wow. Well, I'm getting bites anyway. Let's try it again. So you ain't caught none of yours yet, neither, have you? I've caught one, but no. Okay. Eight. 
tearing these pickerel up, though. <laughs> yeah. On the rattlesnake worm? Oh, I got something else. Yep. I finally got another one. Well, I say another one. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah. It looks like one of them, though. Yep, number two. All right, new personal record. Might have to come over here and fish with me. What size hook you get using? A two out. I got a half ounce two out with the four That's inch. What I'm using. It's just a jig head. Caught another pickerel. Might not have to come over here and fish with me. I caught two right here in the same spot. Well, you casted. Huh? Well, you just, casted. I'm just casting I'll straight. At, I'm casting straight out in front of me as uh, just as far as I can. All right. And I'm letting it sink to the bottom, and I'm just I'm. On real speed three, and I'm just kind of holding my rod up, and uh, it's just kind of bouncing it along the bottom. I've missed, I've got several bites, but I missed them all but two. But the two I did catch was the historic walleye. I just missed another one. Right there, as I was pulling it out of the water, I missed another one. Yeah, I'm just letting her sink to the bottom. Oh, you got one, but it's not a what's, historic. What's going through that? Is there a regular walleye? Yeah. Yeah, there's regular hmm. walleye in here. I didn't know. I thought they'd all be historic. No. Just keep doing what you're doing. There's got to be some historics there, maybe. Oh, got something. I think I got another one. It seemed like it was kind of big anyway. Yep, I believe this is another one. Nope, this is just a regular trophy walleye. It ain't a historic. Okay. Well, it was a little bigger, but... Did you see where I was throwing? Yeah. Okay. Just uh just missed another one. I'm just bouncing it on the bottom. Oh, you got something. Oh ah, just missed one. I right, got something. I don't know what yet. I ain't going to count my chickens for the hatch. But I got something. It's a walleye for sure. Yep, just a regular walleye though. Okay. So, not all of them's going to be historic. I'm throwing pretty much in the same spot every time. Oh, well, you got a trophy. Oh, I got something else. 
This one seems smaller. Well, it did. Oh, I got number three. All right. And it's got that 1796 uh, tag on it. Every time you catch one. Got something. Oh, I got number four. All right. One to go. Got something else here. Come on. Hopefully this is number five. Yes. Last one. All right. And that is all five of the historic walleye. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll move on to the next one. I got the first fish tag. Collect my tag. Okay, coordinates from the historic fish tag seem to point the Emerald Lake, find the sunken canoe, and fish around there, that area, to catch an old relic chest containing one of the fragment of George Washington's sword. Okay. Cast near the sunken canoe. So let's go find the sunken canoe. Okay, where would the Sunken canoe B. Is it supposed to show me or what? Let's see. I got a new mission. Okay. Let's just ride around a little bit. See if we can find the Sunken canoe. Okay, how am I supposed to know where this sunken canoe is? Okay, I don't see a spot, nowhere, reckon I could just cast out anywhere, get hung up and reel it in, cause I definitely don't see nothing. Maybe throw in the grass. Let me find the lure that gets hung up easy.
try this jerk bait here. Why would it not show me? I'm supposed to have the coordinates. Coordinates from the historic fish tag seem to point to Emerald Lake. Find the Sunky Town Fish. Okay. I don't see a sunken canoe nowhere. Maybe back up in here. Oh, wait. At that. Oh, I do see it. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I found it. Okay. Let's see if we can hook something here and get this. Uh, And we have finally caught the relic metal chest. All right, let's see what's in this thing. A piece of this sword shard. One. Two bait coins. All right. Catch historic fish on Lone Star, Mudwater, and Neheron to find a fish tag bearing the coordinates of the second shunk, sunken canoe. Somewhere near the sunken canoe, you can fish out the ancient chest with relics, including a fragment of George Washington's sword. I made 4,000 cash. All right. And that's it for the walleye in the first chest. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks again for watching. And if you enjoy, like and subscribe. And we will go see if we can catch the rest of these historic fish.